Welcome to our third vlog on Scaling Talent, uh, where our goal is to empower you to build an amazing company by building an amazing team. Uh, this third vlog in the series, we're going to give you a third tool to help you find the most perfect fit for each new vacancy. But first, I want to begin with a brief experiment. Take a look at the image on the screen, and you've got five seconds to count the number of equilateral triangles starting now. Okay, how many triangles did you see? Did you see more than three? Did you see more than five? Did you see more than seven? A lot of people actually see more than nine triangles. And the answer is that there are zero triangles on the screen. Um, this is a very basic cognitive illusion, so if you take a look again now, what you'll notice is that there are things which look like triangles, but there are actually no triangles. There are circles with um, chunks cut out of them, there are lines, but there are actually no complete triangles. But your brain saw complete triangles, which is why you didn't even question the instruction, you just counted them. Now this is completely normal, and the reason you saw triangles is because your brain is a coherent story machine. That's the way your brain functions. What your brain does is it sees dots and it automatically joins those dots and creates a picture and you don't even know it's doing that. In fact, you don't even see dots. You just see the picture that your brain created by joining the dots. Um, that's what your brain does all the time. 98% of your thinking um, is that sort of thinking where you're not actually conscious of the processes your brain is going through. So in brief, um, the way your brain works is you've got two systems, a system that thinks fast and a system that thinks slow. The system that thinks slow is the system that adds 2 plus 3 and gets 5. It works slowly, you're aware that it's working, it takes real effort. The system that thinks fast works subconsciously. You're not even aware of what it's doing. And the problem is that that fast brain that frankly is responsible for most of your survival and prosperity tricks you when you're making major decisions. And the best way to overcome uh, the sabotage of your decision-making capacity by your fast brain is frankly to turn on the slow brain very consciously and the way you do that when you're starting a hiring process is to start by building a role scorecard. Define exactly what you're looking for in the candidate who will nail the role that you have vacant um, and so if you take a look on your screen what you'll what you'll see is a template for a role scorecard and you'll notice it's only one page because that's all you need to do. You need to think uh, about a few key elements of what will make a person thrive in this role. So let's go through the key elements you need to define. The first is the role mission. I mean, the starting point is to define in a sentence what contribution this person must make to your company. Is their job to deliver five million dollars of new revenue in the next year? Is their job to bring in 500 new warm leads for your business development division? So that's the role's mission. The next part of the scorecard is to define the year one targets. Here, the question you're asking yourself is what results must this person deliver in year one for me to give them an A rating? Um, for me to tell them that they've done an amazing job and give them a great bonus. What are the results? So no more than five KPIs, three if you can. So that's the second part. And the third part of the scorecard is to define the key enablers that will enable them to deliver those results. And you'll notice there are four of them on your screen. The first is critical competencies they need, that's self-explanatory. The second is the level of management experience they need. So what size organization have they managed and managed well? Have they operated at a, a junior supervisory level on the one end of the spectrum? Or on the other end as an executive of spanning multiple continents, teams and, and cultures? Um, or where in between. Number three, what sort of environment do they thrive in? A startup, a growing environment, or a mature, a steady state environment? And lastly, what core energy should this person probably have to thrive in this role? Uh, so should they be a creative type? Should they be an extroverted relational type? Should they be a systems type in order to really thrive in this role? Those, those are the key things you want to define. And once you've defined those on a one-page role scorecard, you're set up to really consciously evaluate candidates 
for, for these key drivers of success rather than be tricked by your brain on um, such cognitive illusions as, well, this person's tall, dark, and handsome, and therefore they must be successful, and they'll make an amazing salesperson for me. Okay, so that's your, that's your tip for the day. Uh, that's tool number three in the vlog series on scaling talent. Join us again for, for tip and tool number four um, in the next uh, vlog in the series. Um, and if you'd like more information on, on these tools or to download these tools for free from our website, go to www.10xc.com and take a look at our bootcamp schedule where you will find all these tools available for download for free.